Well, we have come to the last part of this entire experiment. Usually, you were asked to find out who is that unknown. Now, this is the year where the unknown was given, and our job is to identify the role that was played by this unknown, which is none other than hydrogen peroxide. So, are you ready? Let's begin. Well, we have come to the last part, which is the conclusion portion. So let's begin. The question goes like this. In the test that you have performed, the role played by hydrogen peroxide may be either that of an oxidizing agent or that of a reducing agent, which means that hydrogen peroxide can be both an oxidizing and a reducing agent. And then they ask you to deduce a role played by hydrogen peroxide W in B and explain your deduction. Okay, let me further highlight this so that you all can see it clearly. Now, if you're good with chem, you should have already known that Ki is a reducing agent and potassium manganate is an oxidizing agent. In which topic? Redox. As I always emphasize that before your ex uh, practical exam, these are some of the few topics that you have to study. Redox is one of them. Now, I want to draw your attention to part B this portion because some of you will have realized that, hey, part B, Ms. Selena, just now, we saw that you actually insert the lighter and the glowing splint inside. Both didn't show uh, any evidence. That means the glowing splint didn't rekindle, the lighter splint did not give a pop sound. But why do you write down that it actually tested with a glowing splint, it rekindled and odor is present? Well, in the experiment, sometimes you really cannot get uh, a result. Okay, and but what is the wisest and the smartest way to do? First of all, we already know that potassium manganate is an oxidizing agent. Whatever that they react with, if there's bubbles, the gas evolved most likely will be oxygen gas. So that's why I would rather write this down than to leave it blank. Okay, now some of you will be saying that, but Miss Selena, my chem is not good and I don't understand redox. Don't worry, you think about it. O2 is present in most of the experiment. So the smartest way, instead of suddenly pop up a hydrogen gas, your gut might have told you that, might have told you that, hey, yeah, I, I think I will go with oxygen gas as well. All right? So there are some things that you have to think like that. All right? So let's start by writing this down already, okay? So over here, they say, what do you think is this? Now, since KMNO4 is an oxidizing agent and O2 is present, the role played by uh, hydrogen peroxide, I can safely say that it is a reducing agent. Explanation, okay, very simple. Gas evolved when tested with a glowing splint. Sorry, I pardon this word. Glowing splint, comma, it rekindled. O2 is present, okay? Therefore, it shows that H2O2 undergo oxidation process, okay? That's all. Because if you are reducing agent, you will go through oxidation. Okay, very simple, the opposite. Now, deduce a role played by hydrogen peroxide W in C. C over at this part, there is evident, evidently there's no gases, but there's a color change. Now, as I say, Ki is a reducing agent. Therefore, hydrogen peroxide will be the opposite, will be the oxidizing agent. Explanation, what do you see? Okay, even if your chem is no, not so uh, uh, good, you notice that there is a brown PPT, something is formed. So use that as your evidence. Explanation. A brown PPT is formed. Okay. Iodine is displaced. Ki is oxidize okay because ki is a reducing agent it will go through oxidation so ki is oxidized full stop one mark one mark you get your marks already as simple as that got it thank you for staying through the entire video if you like our video remember to click like and also don't forget to subscribe to our channel well 
click onto our bio and you will see this Project Lightboard teaching series. And from there, you can see a series of teaching videos from physics to geography and even to primary school sciences. So if you're interested, click onto the Project Lightboard and find out more.